Okay, the question is, why CPAM? Well, there's a, you can get into the big relay debate. There's GE, there's ABB, there's Schweitzer, there's Siemens, etc., etc. In fact, behind me are a couple of GE relays. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is my brand knowledge. Uh, where I formerly work, others in my group specialized in, for example, one guy in GE, one guy in Schweitzer. Uh, we all know how to do all of these other relays, but mine was CPAM. Uh, my years of experience with uh, this is 42 years. I'm now retired. No, I won't do your install, and no, I won't do your setup for you. Why am I doing this? No, it's not for the money. Uh, this is not exactly something that's going to go viral and I'll get monetized big time by YouTube. I'm doing this for a few reasons. Right now, there are limited videos on CPAM work in English. I'm not knocking any other language. I've been to Mexico, Germany, Czech Republic. Uh, I do speak some Spanish. I spoke a little bit of Czech, not very good with German. And in every country I've been to, when I try to use their language and talk in their language, they tell me I talk funny. Just like when you are looking at a video that someone from another country has shot, where English is not their native language, you think they talk funny. Yeah, they're hard to understand. I'm not knocking that. This is one of the reasons I'm doing this. Another reason is very little has been covered and even less in detail. And I want to cover practical applications. Coverage of specific components in detail. Uh, I also need to mention I'm now affiliated with or sponsored by Schneider Electric. Just so you know that, that uh, any, my opinions are mine and your mileage may vary. Okay, if you do run into some problems, CPAM does have a tech support line you can call. Yes, they can help. There is limited information online other than downloading the manual, which actually I recommend everybody do anyway. Print it off if uh, you can, if it's not too many pages, and uh, stick it in your bathroom. It's great bathroom reading. Yeah, at least that's what I tell my wife. Uh, you can ask support specific questions, and they will give you specific answers. In my experience with talking with tech support, they will only give you that specific answer. We'll not go into detail on anything else or volunteer any other information. Don't know exactly why that is, and that's not limited just to Schneider. I've had the same problems with GE and Schweitzer and ABB, etc. Okay, if you want to see something in particular, I can cover it. If I can cover it, I will. Put it in the comments below. Subscribe if you want to see more and hit that bell to be notified when I post another video. No specific schedule because I'm retired, but I will try to keep them coming.